What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and hooray, there was a test server patch today. So I'm going to be going over everything that came out, and um, hopefully this keeps everybody updated. You will be able to join the test server on Mondays. Uh, Mojang made it so that on Mondays you can um, play with all the people on the test server. Uh, it's open to everyone, not only the people that have test server access on all the days. But I'll show you this video today so uh, you know what's going on. And the new scrolls, it looks awesome. So this is uh, the Waypoints Update Part 1. And uh, so there's a black market uh, that's nice for trading. Um, what's in, what are the notable things? New traits here, idle strike, uh, that deals extra damage to idols, uh, which is X is the extra damage. Um, regeneration is you heal your unit, the unit heals itself by that number every turn. Um, poison, big change of poison. Now it lasts forever, so unless you have purification. So, uh, that's really strong and flying um, we already kinda had this trait but uh, it's changed a little bit so now if you go to an adjacent tile you don't get the countdown increased by one but any other tile you uh, get that countdown increased by one the owl I believe is the only thing that has this so there's 20 new scrolls uh, there's probably gonna be much more from set 6 waypoints but this is the first update uh, a lot of scrolls were uh, changed buffed or nerfed I'll go over those um, some nice uh, things that up uh, right here like now the, de the deck builder remembers the names better uh, you can see your last message in chat by hitting the up arrow so little good things um, but uh, mostly the most notable things is the black market and the new scrolls so first let's take a look at the black market so you just get there from uh, clicking this black market button right here and this is what it looks like right now. This is obviously only in test server. It's probably going to change. But it looks pretty cool so far. So it seems like you can um, buy or sell scrolls. And then when you sell a scroll, it, become, it goes on the black market. And you can buy scrolls from other scrolls people are selling here. So, like, it, uh, you can click on these scrolls. And it says not currently available on the market. So I guess this means nobody sold them. But the ones that are highlighted here, like Graveblock, Crown of Strength, Bear Paw, are highlighted. So it looks like available for sale this tier one. So you can buy different tiered scrolls that people are selling. And I'm just, you could just, I guess you could just, I'm not sure what these checkboxes are for. But you could just buy scrolls with the black market. And you could like say like, I only want to buy tier three scrolls. And it looks like nobody is selling tier three scrolls. I'm not sure what this in the back is. Are this scrolls that I already have? I'm not sure. And if you sell scrolls, you can just take any of your scrolls, and it looks like you can just let's sell a scroll we have more than three of. Do we have? It? We're on the test server, but I did buy random packs on the test server once, so we should have extra scrolls. Eh, whatever. So yeah, that's how that works. It's probably gonna change, but I'm really looking forward to that. Everybody always says that scrolls needs like a marketplace kind of. Um, and what's better than the black market? Okay, so now first, the less exciting stuff. We'll go over the changes of scrolls. The these forty-two scrolls have been either nerfed, buffed, or changed altogether. And uh, there's twenty new scrolls. We'll, we'll look at those after. So here are the changed scrolls. So there's one, two, three, four, five order change scrolls. Much more for energy. Even more than that for growth. And I guess like the same, a little bit more than the amount of for energy for decay. And here we go. So ro roasted bean potion is now spell. It um, So you won't get the extra move like lingering in multiple turns. It will only happen that one turn. Wings warder now has none of that um, effect where you can, you can actually play spells in the other units on the board when she is higher than a one countdown that whole thing's gone so now her countdown doesn't really matter so that's a little bit of a buff and risk being a little bit of a nerf that's one sort of a little bit of a nerf now it only gains plus two attack it does not gain plus one health as well I think that's a good change the plus one health was a little overboard it was really strong righteous partisan has changed a lot um, instead of getting like the having six attack when it when you have less units on the board than your opponent he's just always a three two three creature 
but when you draw, put them into play, when you have less units than your opponent, you draw a scroll. So this is like a better Sister of the Fox for more cost, but it only works when you have less units on the board. So I think it's actually pretty good now. Night Scholar now um, has four health, not five. Uh, I don't know if that changed. I think Night Scholar looks pretty beefy. I like him at five health. I didn't see him as too much of a problem right now because the aggro order decks that had him, um, I I didn't like using him in aggro order because you kind of want to hit the idols, not draw scrolls. Okay, uh, they kind of buffed most of the champions, or all champions, so they weren't getting much love, and I think they're trying to push it towards more mid game, late game decks because right now it's really aggro. So K, uh, I believe, I believe K uh, has one more health. I think that's it. It's either one more health, she step six, or uh, or her cost is reduced by one. It used to be nine. I think she has one more health. I think it used to be six. Uh, machine priest. This is a big buff to a machine priest. Look at that. Structures and automatons have their attack increased by one. So no, I guess he lost his other ability to move structures, but I mean that really only worked with like a, a destroyer to get some cool plays off. But this is gonna, this guy's gonna be like an, another scout automaton. And uh, the structures have their elf, uh, have their attack increased. That doesn't affect that much. I guess it affects Oculus Cannon, um, Hellspitter Mortar, but uh, the automatons increased. That automaton decks will be even better. I really like the change of machine priest. Overdrive. So now it only deals one damage to the unit you play it on instead of two, so that's pretty good. Um, Potion of Resistance, this is a nice buff. Its cost is increased to two, but instead of uh, all damage being uh, reduced to one, like Awakening Stones, now it just immunes all damage. So, like, even if your opponent hits it with three Ragged Wolves, it will take zero damage. So um, now you can put this on something that like you have to keep alive and it will stay alive. I guess... I guess the only thing that can kill it really is like a damage curse, because even Belt Dispersal would be uh, not doing any damage. Um, Corrode is changed. So now, um, the it still is the same thing where units deal double damage to idols, but now, <coughs> sorry about that, but now it works on both sides. So you're playing it and there's a risk that the, the opponent can get a, like a, a idle snipe also and I don't really love that change I didn't think corrode needed a nerf I love corrode um, I thought I thought it didn't get played enough I don't think it needed a nerf but that's not too bad full munition conduit uh, now it starts with two uh, two countdowns so you'll get a little bit more energy a little faster power trip um, it got its card drawback if you play it but you have to have 11 energy or more after it so that means if you play this when you have 8 energy you'll draw a card so I think power trip might make a comeback in like range energy we'll see siege cracker now just it's the same scroll essentially it's just changed uh, its wording so now it just says idle strike 5 as a keyword because it, that's a new keyword echo Maton, um changed a little bit uh, it uh, now it's only if attack is two or more. It was uh, attack four or more. So this is kind of like what it was before the last the last change, but now it's three health. It had four health. So that's makes a little. No, it didn't have four health. Or did it? I don't remember. It's changed though. So Iron Ogre. <coughs> Sorry about that. Iron Ogre has 8 attack, not 7 anymore. Um, see, like they're trying to make the higher cost of units better. Um, Alamatal has Regeneration 1. Just the same card, but just now, now it's like, worded differently. Him, now instead of healing 3 health, it heals the target to full health. So maybe we'll see some play. I doubt it. Um, now, uh, Leech Ring has changed to just when a creature deals damage, is healed by 2. None of that like countdown stuff and everything. Earthbound, uh, it's changed a lot. Magic Armor 1 and Enchanted Unit gets plus 2 health, so that's a different kind of card now. Eternal Statue, Regeneration 1, again, same same type of scroll, but uh, now it's just a different wording. Owl, uh, it's 2 cost, and Flying, I already had Flying, now it's 2 cost. Bountiful Times, now other bunnies count down by 2. 
It used to be one, so that's uh, more bunny uh, multi uh, multi multiplying them. How come I can't click on death cap here? There we go. Death cap berserk. Uh, instead of dealing two damage, it deals one damage to the unit you put it on, so that's kind of like overdrive. It's a little better. Mangy Wolf is only three cost, but it loses its ability to heal itself when it deals damage. This is gonna be really good. I think that this was. I think mono growth that's not aggro we'll get a nice little buff in this in waypoints well obviously this more cards are coming but so far it looks like um it will um this three cost mangy is gonna be pretty big i always thought mangy should be less than four costs four costs for a two two three was not that it's not that good no id now has replenish skythorn has four countdown not six that's good I think it was way too hard to get it to count down. Berserker has regeneration one, which is what it already had basically, but didn't say regeneration. Kinfolk Yarl has four attack now, so that's gonna make it better. Again, helping later game growth decks. Yarl has uh, Yarl is one less cost, I think. It used to be nine, so that helps Blakey Mortar decks as well. Hex Mark, same card, but they just changed the uh, keyword, so it says Idle Strike three. Shroud of Unlife, um, what was changed about this? Oh yeah, enchanted unit counts as undead. So, uh, if you enchant this to the unit, like, if you play, uh, if you play Restless Bones, then it will, like, count down by two and, or count down by one and, like, gain two attack. Like, so it just, it counts as undead. I think undead decks are gonna have a nice little boost. So now, it doesn't have to do with curse anymore. Um, Wicked Being now just, uh, it's like a, it's kind of like another loyal darkling. You just chant it to your unit, and it turns into a loyal darkling. So that could be good. Maybe it'll be used. Blade husk. Got one extra attack, and I think it might be played because, like like I just said, undead decks look like they're gonna get better. And five attack is a two shot to an idol. Five attack with relentless is awesome. So we'll see. Well, one case no longer has dominion. It um. Now it just always gets cursed two, and um, move is decreased by two. So I guess that protects against like uh, uh, wings, captains for like extra move and roasted bean potion for extra move and new orders and stuff. Unbind is changed, so now it look works more like a purification. It removes all enchantments from target unit. Its countdown is increased by one. I'm not sure if this removes poison now that it, because it said in the change log back there that. Um, poison only goes with pur purification. I'm not sure if your poison consider an enchantment anymore. Here, let's see. It's like, no, yeah. Let's see if like brain lice is considered like an enchantment or a spell. Enchantment destruction. Ooh, that they added that. Okay, that's cool. Like there, like it says, uh, spell displacement for a bunch of like the order spells, like flips and bothers and stuff. But that's kind of old. But the start, the destruction thing is kind of new. Um, uneasy alliance now it doesn't work like stag card anymore where it like multiplies um, now it's just always increased by attack by two still keeps the rest of its things though hunter now has one less health which is pretty good because hunter is pretty beefy uh, stitcher now gains one health so hunter gave stitcher one health and I think I, I like this a lot for stitcher I think I might start using it I think this is a really good card indicate being able to kill your units on command so I like that blight bear its cost was increased by two. That's a huge buff. I don't think it will get played in normal decay decks anymore, but it will get played in poison decay decks. I think, really, like the pesta simulator was also nerfed um, in cost because because of poison the poison's buff. Because now poison lasts forever, so they have to be careful with the cards that can deal poison. Uh, Life stealer now only heals itself by two, not fully when it. Uh, but now, instead of when it kills another unit, it's when it deals damage. So, I guess that's kind of similar. I'd say it's a little bit worse, but not much. Because now you'll be able to kill yourself, even if you're just hitting an idol. But not by as much. Uh, Pest Simulator now cost 5. Like I said, it used to be 4. New Reflesh Seamstress now has 7 health, used to have 6. So, looks like they tried to make late game decks a little bit stronger. And, but... We didn't even get to the new scrolls yet, so let's head into the host. That's that's where it is really more exciting. So, um, new scrolls. Okay, so there's 20 new scrolls here, and we're gonna go through them. 
FAG of the queen. Or for, let's see, how many scrolls of each? There's five of each, right? Five order, five, five. Yeah, there's five of each faction. So, f love to all the factions. So, here. Effigy of the Queen, Ward, which means that, like, you can't dam that damage curse, you can't, like, put any spells and gems on the unit. The opponent can't. You can. So, three countdown, four health, it's a structure totem. Looks kind of cool down here. The Queen protects. Unit, uh, uh, units adjacent to Effigy, effigy of the Queen have resistance to. So, that seems like it could be cool to put this in the middle of the board and surround it by your, like order units and they'll take much less damage so that's kind of cool wing sorceress we saw this uh, card art in um on scrolls.com uh so it has ranged attack it's a three two three pretty standard for a three cost and when wing sorceress countdown is zero you may reset its countdown to remove last enchantment from target unit that's cool i like that a lot this is just like this is the exact same thing as like a boom reaver except for it has this ability to like purify stuff so i think this is going to get played it looks for another range unit for order along with crossman it's cool click on you you do your attack animation that's awesome look at that shoots like an icicle i like that a lot a spell for four royal inspiration draw one night scroll um i like this i think this buffs later game order decks because you'll be able to draw because the only knights in order um I think these guys might be knights over here i didn't look at them yet but uh there is knight scholar aging knight uh honorable general and royal vanguard like those all the soldiers like those relentless dudes the uh the spiky dudes the wings guys they're soldiers they're not knights so you'll really keep drawing your big units so that, that'll be good for this card but it is four scroll four costs so i'm not sure if you're going to want to use it that much a uh, knight sergeant, yeah, this is a knight. Three, two, five, or five, so better have a nice ability. When knight sergeant's countdown becomes zero, adjacent knights have their countdown decreased by one. Okay, so this is like the the old wings captain, where it had adjacent soldiers countdown decreased by one. Since then, wing captain has been changed, so we know it was a good ability, but I had to change it. So that I assume this card's gonna be pretty good. Uh, let's see, it's attack animation. Look at that. Look at that spear. Oh, that's awesome. He did like a nice little twirl there. Let's see that again. Beautiful. Um, yes, but again, the one countdown decrease does not work on many units. It only, there's only so many knights. But there's, I think this is another knight here, so maybe it'll work. Who knows? Ar Arbalistir. Okay. A six, five, five. Five countdown. Let's see what let's see what's going on here. It's a knight. Piercing range attack. That's big. Piercing with six attack by default. That's like almost like a machinated cannon without having to put the machinated on. Um so another range unit for order. And resonance um count size decreased by one. What does resonance do again? I have to quickly check. I kind of forgot. It's, it's not. It's not a new enchantment. It came out in the last patch. Um, uh, resonance. When you play a spell, action happens. Okay, that's what it does again. Okay, so it doesn't say it doesn't count down normally as well. So I think it's gonna be a good scroll. Six costs a little much, but just having six attack and five health and piercing is just really good. And you, if you're like a late game deck. Like, uh, let's say you have a bunch of spells like, um, like, a uh, Kabonk and, and, like, Pothers and, like, a uh, Flip, and uh, not Flips, up. Uh, all these cantrip cards that Order has, you can quickly play them a lot in one turn after the Imperial Resources and get this guy to attack, like, every turn. So I think this guy's gonna be pretty good in late game decks, but not really, not really mid game decks. And that's another. He looks like he shoots, like, similar to what the Wing Sorcerer shoots. So onto the energy scroll. So order got cool, uh, cool creatures, and a couple of nice, one cool spell and a structure. So now energy. We saw this card art um, before. Snorgle brain, one energy. Enchanted units' attack is increased by one. If energy is six or more, enchanted units' health is increased by two. Okay. Um. 
Hmm. It's decent enchantment, it looks like. So it's like a crown of strength if you have uh, if you have six energy, which isn't that odd. Like only I guess in the very early game, it's not going to be that good. But in the late game, it's going to be a one cost crown of strength. So maybe it will get played. But then again, energy. I'm not sure if. I guess you do want to buff the units with like armor and stuff. Maybe with two health buff your piercing units I think it's pretty good grave gruel is a spell for two cost add three growth and two decay to your current resource well this you can see grave grave locks growth decay the two are the factions that have that have synergy with grave locks so this is definitely a grave lock scroll which I think is awesome I love grave locks um, so yeah you play this I guess you'll have you'll be able to uh, only last for one turn the extra resources so play this you'll play like a uh, a um, infected grave lock and a um, and a grave hawk and then you're all set grave lock guard a new grave lock it's nice and it's simply a 2 2 3 um, even though and it's only two costs it's pretty good scroll, as you know, two two three for two is just pretty normal. But the fact is, it's a grave lock, so it's going to be buffed with the uh, elder. So I think it will be used in all grave lock decks, obviously, because you need more creatures. The problem with grave lock decks is there's not enough grave locks to fill it up with creatures. So so I think this is really good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a cough. As you know, as you heard. Okay, so oh, another grave lock. We didn't. Oh, we didn't get to, to see this guy's attack animation. Pretty similar to the other grave locks. So now we have a one cost, two cost, and three cost grave lock, and four cost grave lock, and a five cost elder. So that's cool. Four one four. This be a better be a bad. Uh, and with the uh, grave lock elder buff, this better be a bad description down here that makes it worse. Oh, there's three of them. Um, when Lockling Brood is targeted by a spell or enchantment, Lockling Brood is destroyed. Okay, that that's fair. You can easily dispose of it. Like one Kabank would kill it. Like uh, <clears throat> anything you could do, anything you could like play a flip, anything you want to kill this thing. But um, it's still pretty cool. If you don't destroy it, then it's a text every turn for four attack. So I think it will get played obviously in Greyhawk decks. Snargle. 524, we saw this guy before. Um, for 4. 524 for 4 is pretty good. When you play a spell, Snorgle's countdown is increased by 1. Ah. So that's a little. It sucks a little bit. That's his attack animation. Um, so that's Snorgle. Nog. A beast. 2 costs for growth. 2 2 3. Um, yeah, so energy looks like they want to buff grave blocks. Um. And should, is that it? Interesting. They made a, a very weird creature like this. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's a beast. But then they just had it have like no special abilities. It's just a two for it's just two cost. And it's a two, two, three. Well, that's pretty standard. All right, whatever. Um, That's, I mean, I guess it's just as good as Kinfolk, uh, Ranger, it's the same scroll as Kinfolk Ranger, isn't it? So, this one's a beast, so I guess it's a little better. Nog Nest. Oh, this is the Nog, so I guess the Nog is going to help the Nog Nest. Uh, it's only two costs, it's a wall. Um, three counts and four health. When Nog Nest counts and becomes zero, Nog Nest is destroyed, and two Nogs are summoned on adjacent tiles. Okay, so this is helping beast decks, it looks like. Okay. That's pretty good. So it's like a mini forge that's gonna give you two nogs. Has two eggs there, it's pretty cool. So I like that. Um a new vetter. We saw this card art before, budding vetter, the third vetter. Now there's a one cost, two cost, and three cost vetter. Um I think vetter should be considered beast, so that'd be cool. One, two, three. When a beast enters play on your side, your current growth is increased by one. Um, current growth. That's not permanent growth. Um, 
I like it. I like it. It's uh, three health is pretty solid. It's not too good. That's an interesting attack. Um, but it will help you get more stuff on the field at once. So yeah, I think it will be generally played. Earthborn Keeper. We saw this scroll art before. Human. Three cost. Surprising it doesn't say kinfolk there. Most of the humans in growth are kinfolk. A zero attack, one count to M3, so he'll be buffed it looks like. When a unit enters play on your side, Earthborn Keeper gets plus one attack until end of turn. Okay. I think this guy's pretty good because as we see right now in aggro growth, uh, all units have one count and are pretty good. So he has one count down and he's going to get like extra attack from placing units down just like Wildling. So I think this guy's pretty good. Only three health though for three costs, so it's not too good. Samata Sift, a uh, spell. Summon a random creature scroll from your library on target tile. Its health is set to two. Uh, I don't know if I love this scroll. I don't see it being that good. I mean, sure, you're just getting a creature down, but at what cost just to play it? And its health is reduced to two, and that it's really frail. Then I don't know about that scroll, but maybe there's something I'm missing to it. The decay scrolls, uh, revenant. So it looks like growth tries to help like beast a little bit. Um, undead. We saw this. Uh, we saw this being done on the stream. Um, undead anima. We don't. I don't think anything's anima or anima any yet. Another undead scroll that helps undead. Ward, so it can't be like a bonked or anything. Only one health, one cost, one countdown, two attack, and Revenant is destroyed after attacking. Hmm. So this is like a decays version of a copper automaton, but it only has, but it only has two attack, but at the same time, it. But at the same time, it can't be like sparked away. Decent. I don't know if it's like very good though. It's, it's just destroyed. But it is a one cost thing. You just get out there and get a quick hit. Hmm. Maybe we'll see. Slithering form enchantment. We saw this card out before. Enchanted melee unit passes through structures. That's cool. That's really cool. That's good for decay. That's really good for decay. Wow. Decay is problems with structure energy. Play that card, and your uh, your huge uh, your huge witch doctor will just shoot. Oh, it's melee. So your your harvester will just or rod eater will just uh, damage the idol behind the structure, and that's what you need to do. Wow, that's this is only one cost. I like this card for decay. Really helps them for structure energy. Moodoo fighter, three cost human, important for witch doctor. Four two two. Two cost or three. I don't love. Soul stealable, sparkable, all that. But it is for attack. But I don't think it'll be I don't think it's gonna be played. Yeah, I'd rather have like our hearts disciple for like three health. A Nima conduit. So this is a uh, where it said anima over here. That's called an anima, but it's called a revenant. Um, totem, that's what it looks like. Whenever a non revenant creature you control is destroyed. Revenant is summoned next to Anima Conduit. Anima Conduit is dealt one damage. Ooh, this is like another one of these kind of forge like cards, like uh, like Nog Nest. So it only has the ability to summon three, three Revenants. But I think that's pretty good for four cost. I mean, you just get a bunch of these guys that are gonna blow up and die, but they're gonna deal damage. So I like the Anima Conduit, but I don't think it's going to be played in like human normal decay decks because human normal decay has a lot of humans, now probably not room for these revenants and stuff. And here's a new scroll, human, <coughs> I'm terribly sorry guys, I probably wouldn't have made a video today if uh, there wasn't such an awesome patch. So it's a 3-2-4 for 4 costs, not too bad. When Flesh Animator's countdown becomes zero, all undead creatures have their countdown decreased by one. This guy's good. It's not even adjacent creatures. I like him a lot. Undead decks are now awesome. That's cool. We saw this guy's card art before. So those are the new scrolls, and I guess that's it. Um, I really like it. Uh, there will not be a 
a um I mean there might be if if they uh, have a test if they have a waypoints test server update part two I'm probably not gonna be able to make a video out about it because I am going away for the next two weeks there will still be a daily video for you guys um, so keep checking that back here every day but but um, I won't be able to test or play scrolls because I'm gonna be away I'll play maybe I'll be able to play a little bit but I won't be able to make videos while I'm away but I have videos stocked up to go at every single day so keep checking back so I hope you all are as hyped about waypoints as I am. I'm so excited as I am for every scrolls update. So like the video if you uh, like waypoints and comment below any questions. Uh, subscribe if you want more content and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching and keep on playing scrolls.